one of the things that I wasn't expecting as a through line to the book is edibles. So I, I wanted to, to ask you, what role do edibles play for you on the mountain, uh, off the mountain recovery? Like, how, how do you use them? How does that work in to your regimen? So I don't always ski stone, but I, so oldest, one of the oldest flow hacks in the world is 20 minutes of aerobic exercise, followed by a cup of coffee, followed by THC. And people, you know, it's the hippie ski, speedball yeah. and action sports, and people have been doing it since the 60s. We have done a lot of work at the Flow Research Collective on um, caffeine and flow and why caffeine works as a flow trigger. Uh, we've done some work on THC and flow, CBD and flow. We've looked at all these things. We're trying to sort of drill in that we don't train people in, uh, in that ever because it doesn't seem to be reliable for everyone. Mm. People have very different relationships with THC um, and uh, different kinds of THC. So it's not, I don't find it's something that's useful for everyone. So we don't, you know what I mean? Truly at the collective, we'd like to specialize in psychological interventions that produce neurobiological reactions. Cause I don't want to have to ever depend on a substance for peak performance. But um, one, when I'm dealing with pain, um, I would much rather take an edible than take an aspirin. Mm, yeah. um, it's much better, right? It's better on my liver. It's better on my body and it works better. Um, so, uh, you know, I'll use it for recovery if I ding myself up. And then, there are, but I've, I've found with marijuana, uh, on, like there are a lot of times it won't work. If it's cold, it will not work and can take me in the other direction. If I'm hungry, it will not i can't use it to push through hunger it makes it worse um if there's too much fear it mm. can mess with performance in unhealthy ways there's very specific things and it's you know the more complicated the movements the better marijuana works as a performance and has a chemical so ever we all grew up being told that marijuana uh is bad for performance and um that's not entirely true. So when they test reaction times, but that's what they were talking about, they do it with a light box, like a tic-tac-toe board. So they light up a square and you mm -hmm. tap a square and they light up two squares and you go boom, boom, and then three squares, boom, boom, boom. So when they tested it, they test it, it's usually like stone versus sober, right? And if what they discovered is, and it took them forever to do this, um, cause nobody bothered to do it this much, but like in the beginning, if you test, uh, light up one square and it's stone guy versus sober guy, sober guy wins. Mm. Two squares, boom, boom, sober guy wins. Three squares, they start to tie. Four squares, they start to tie. And at five squares, stone guy usually pulls ahead. Mm. Um, and it's because you can learn those really complicated patterns, but you have to turn off the subconscious to reproduce them. When marijuana will turn off part of the prefrontal cortex that'll block that. Um, so if you're performing very complicated patterns and things like that, marijuana can work as a performance enhancing chemical. Um, but you have to sort of know what you're doing. You actually have to train with it. Marijuana also produces state dependent learning, which is, you heard about it, uh, it's study with the SATs and purple sweats, take with purple sweats, that's state dependent mm. learning. But it's the same thing, marijuana produces state dependent learning. And so most people, smoke pot in high school, eating Cheetos and watching Monty Python movies yeah. and laughing. And that's what they trained themselves to do. And they didn't realize, oh, wow, it's a performance enhancing substance and you can use it to focus and it, it's good for certain skills. Um, I covered uh, marijuana as a performance enhancing substance a bunch when I was writing articles for like Men's Journal and Men's Health, yeah. a bunch of articles about it, um, but it's not for everyone. Thank you.